Copy pasting is one of the most fundamental operations in Excel. So in this lesson, we're going to use VBA to do copy paste. Let's start. First methodology is to use the equal sign. So here I have some sales data. I have a comment here if you see, and I have some formulas. I want to copy paste this here. So how to do this? We start with the destination range. So we do sheet one. Why sheet one? Because equal sign, which is the sheet, is under sheet one. I do dot range E1 to G4 dot value is equal to sheet one dot range. Then we do A1 to C4 double quotation parenthesis dot value. Let's try it out with the play button. You can see that it does the job, which is fine, but it has some shortcomings. Number one, I only got the numbers. So I didn't get any formula. I didn't get any comment, any formatting, just the hard numbers. Number two, if you add a line here, you will have to change your formula here and put it G5 to reflect that you have an additional line here. Obviously you can do this with a loop, but it makes it a bit more complex. Let's look at our second methodology, which is the normal copy paste of Excel. So here, instead of starting with our destination range, we're gonna start with our copy range. So we're gonna do sheet two, sheet two is normal copy, dot range, a1 to C4 dot copy. If you do space, you can see that the copy methodology has an argument, which is destination. And destination is basically where I want to paste the data. So I don't even need to write paste. I can just put where I want the data to be. So I can do sheet two dot range, and then I will say E1, which is here. So now if we run it, you can see that I copy pasted my data. Everything came, the formulas, the comment, the formatting and the number. The shortcoming of this methodology is that if I add something here, like for example, Martina, and I put some random numbers, if I click, it's not gonna copy paste the data. So how do I fix this? There is a property called current region. So let's use it and let me show you how it is. So you do sheet two dot range. You do A1, but instead of putting C4, you don't put anything. You just do dot current region dot copy. And then you can just put the destination range. Let's stop this one. Let's delete this data and let's try again. As you can see, I got Martina also. So this is the normal copy paste. The normal copy paste, paste everything. What if I only want, for example, the comments and the numbers and I don't want the formulas? How to do this? So this is where we do methodology number three, which has paste special. So we go to the next sheet with the same data. We're gonna copy the first part of this. We put it here. It is the same, only we change the sheet name because paste special is sheet three. And then when we want to paste, instead of writing the argument here, we do sheet three dot range E1 dot paste special. If you look at paste special, if I open the parentheses, I have the options here. So I can do paste all, I can do paste format, paste comments, etc. So if I only want to paste the comments, I just click on this, I close the parentheses and I do enter. Let's try it out. As you can see, I only got the comment. If I want to do 
another paste special so for example i want to paste the comments and the values i can just add another line like this copy paste and instead of this i can just do like this open the parentheses and look for example for values this is values you just close the parentheses and then you just run it and you can see that you get now the comment and the value and if you add something for example here martina and you try it again you're gonna see that you get this automatically so similar to the other way we get everything if we add data at the bottom let's look now at the resize property which will allow you to do a little bit of manipulation when you are copy pasting your data so i'm just gonna go to my force sheet and let's assume that we want to copy paste the information but we don't want the headers so how to do this so i'm gonna take this i'm gonna put it here i'm gonna put sheet 4 and let's think through it so first of all if i do sheet 4.range a1.current region it means i'm selecting this there is the offset property so if i write dot offset when i open parentheses i can offset by row and by column if i offset by one row and zero column what will happen i'm going basically down by one row which means i am selecting this now the problem is that i'm selecting an empty row you can live with this so if we are copy pasting and we have space we don't have a problem but let's assume that i want to fix this problem this is where the resize will come into play so if i do dot resize i open my parentheses i can tell excel to pick a number of row that i want and if i want i can also specify a number of columns that i want now i don't want to touch the columns because the columns are correct but i want to reduce by one row so i want to go from four rows to three rows how can i do this well if we just copy this here and i'm just going to make this bigger so you can see what we have here basically is this right so here we can count the number of rows so if i do dot rows dot count and i take this to the immediate window so under resize we have this sheet 4 dot range a1 dot current region which are my four rows and then i'm doing dot rows dot count so to get the immediate window you can do view and then you have immediate window here so i'm just gonna paste this and then i'm gonna put a question mark in front enter and you can see we got four rows right because in this part of the code i selected my original range which has four rows but i only want three rows because as we said the game was i take my original area i go down by one row which means i have this and then i select only three rows by doing resize so i'm going to do minus one here and then we close parentheses and we write dot copy i'm just going to make it even bigger so you can see now if this is too long what you could do in vba is do space underscore enter you go to the line so this is a way to go to the line then i'm going to take the paste special from here copy paste change the sheet name sheet 4 because we are in resize and then i can run the code so let's try it as you can see we get the data and if i have for example martina here you will see that it also works you see i get martina why because again we took this range we went down by one and then we resize it and then we copy paste the data here 
Now the last trick I'm going to show you is that if you see here, this has a dotted line on it. Why? Because the copy is still on. So if I want to remove this dotted line, this copy, I can do application dot cut copy mode equal false. So if I run this, you will see that this dotted line is gone and the data got copied. So those are some of the methodologies to be able to copy paste your data. Please let me know in the comment section which one is the one that you prefer and that you use the most when you write VBA code. And I'm going to keep a link to this workbook so you can have this as a reference.